Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Bob's Pistols and Pay Dirt. Coming to you from North Texas. It's a beautiful day in North Texas. The skies are totally cloudy. Lots of snow on the ground. Yep, pretty much snow everywhere. I left the big city, came up here to the little cabin, brought a couple of pistols, thought I'd do uh, a little bit of shooting, just too cold. So uh, instead, hey, there's one bag of pay dirt up here at the shop. So let's go pan some out. See you in a minute. Okay guys, we're back here in the shop. Uh, this is what we have today. It's Dirt Hog Pay Dirt, three pound bag, Cottonwood Claim. Um, this comes from British Columbia. I actually got this one with one of their two pounders. The two pounders was labeled bonus bag. This one is not labeled bonus bag. This one also when it came in the box had this little tear here. Roll it over. Let you see the other side. Dirt Hog Pay Dirt. Best concentrates on the market period. So, looking forward to this one. We had a great ROI on the other one. And uh, this one is uh, supposed to be a lot more difficult to pan. And uh, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and throw the description up here for, so you can take a look at it. All right, guys, so you got to read the description on it. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the weather up here has been really, really rough. Um, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, uh, really cold for an entire week. Uh, snow, ice, freezing rain, you name it. Finally got in the Jeep, uh, warming up just a little bit. It's up in the 20s today. Come up here to the cabin. And uh, here in the shop, got the heater on, feels good, still a little cold, got my sweatshirt on, but uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun with this pay dirt today. Uh, so give me just a minute, we'll get it classified and take a look at it. Okay guys, got it classified, didn't take very long. Uh, on first impression, I'm really, really disappointed. The last bag of Dirt Hog that I got in was from a different claim, Caribou claim I think, whatever and this is supposed to be from the Cottonwood claim. So I was expecting this to be different dirt, different separation and sizes, and to me it looks exactly the same. Here's what we've got out of three pounds. We've got seven and a half ounces uh, under 20 mesh, so there's some under 20. We've got five and a half ounces. This is under quarter inch, over 20. And then the mother load, two pounds, three ounces, over a quarter inch. And I went through the other bag, it was a two pound bag, this is a three pound bag. The other bag, there was zero gold in this classification. And yeah, I was so hoping that uh, this would be totally different pay dirt a lot more panable material, uh, but hey, it is what it is, and uh, we'll take it from here, head over to the panning station, see what happens. Okay guys, we're here in the shop, got all the important stuff here, I got my little corgi, maybe. She's hiding. She's being camera shy. My little girl, Peanut. She sends best regards to Camo and Bentley. If you know who they are, leave a, leave a comment below. We're gonna start out, put a little bit of uh, surfactant in here. Keep the gold from floating away. Got all the important stuff. Oh, got the pay dirt classifications right here. Snuffer bottle, tweezers. Got my little squirt bottle here. 
and most important, a little bit of fresh, hot, delicious coffee. All right, let's get started panning. We're gonna start with the big stuff. If this is like my last bag of pay dirt from Dirt Hog, there's nothing in here. So I'm gonna speed it up, listen to a little music, back in a minute. Oh, quick little coffee break, and then we're going to go for the little fines over there, the less than uh, 20 mesh.
All right, guys, time to get through the results and the final thoughts. Just tearing out the scale here. We got our 10. Let's go ahead and put a weigh boat on here. And let's take a look and see what we got. I think we did pretty good. Remember, this was guaranteed two grams. Okay, so let's just take a look. First, we're going to put in this big picker. 0.85 of a gram. Put in the next one. 1.2 something. Put in the next one. Pretty good size picker. So we're already there at 1.6. So here goes the rest of it. Okay, 2.63 grams. Woohoo! Guys, I will admit, the gold is beautiful gold. Uh, I've gone through the tailings already. I just wanted to double check. And I just wanted to do a little bit more panning because, uh, man, I love this gold. I love this company. Uh, this is the company. Let me turn the scale off. 2.63. Awesome. This is the uh, company in British Columbia, Dirt Hog Pay Dirt. First time I've had uh, British Columbia or any Canadian um, uh, pay dirt. The uh, little gems and minerals and stuff in there are really pretty awesome, but man, it's just, it's such a heavy, heavy amount on the plus quarter inch, and there's just not a whole lot to pan. When I got the other bag, I uh, uh, sent a message back to Dirt Hog with my thoughts and also a copy of the review and I didn't hear anything back so you know they've got a great product they've been in business for a long time you know you make the decision you know is it worth it to y'all I mean I do this for fun I don't do it you know there's there's no big investment there's no this there's no that I do it for fun just started it uh, over the 2020 uh, plandemic uh, year from being super bored and uh, you can only spend so much time until you kind of go stir crazy and I watched other videos and stuff and I go this is going to be fun so I really enjoy the panning process and uh, the gold is absolutely gorgeous beautiful nice big chunky gold in this one so I'm very impressed with that when it comes to shipping let me just go through real quick uh, kind of a quick review on them when it came to shipping, they shipped it out immediately. This got stuck in uh, Canada Post for a little over four weeks. So even though I ordered it in early December, I didn't actually get it until like middle January. Did a review on the two pound bag. It was a bonus bag. It was supposed to have one gram. I think it had like 1.3 or 1.4 something. So this one was not labeled bonus bag, and uh, yeah, it's supposed to be two grams, at least two grams, we got 2.63, so awesome job on the gold. Uh, the gold is absolutely gorgeous, nice big, chunky, raw, rich, deep yellow, orangey gold, it's beautiful. Um, I just, I kinda wish the pay dirt was just a little bit more fun, so for shipping and for customer service, two thumbs up, A plus. Um, you know the packaging uh, there was two packages similar to this the other one was a little bit smaller this one did get the little bitty hole but it was totally totally sealed up in a uh, shipping box so 100% sealed so there was nothing lost uh, so I don't know give them an 8 or a 10 I have no idea on a scale of 1 to 10 but uh, packaging as far as packaging goes as far as item description yeah uh, different descriptions for different pay dirts this was the cottonwood the other one uh, was the uh, oh, I forget the name of it but anyway it was supposed to be from two different areas and in my opinion again just my opinion it was the same exact rocks minerals etc etc this gold here was definitely chunkier, where the other gold was a lot flatter and flakier. Uh, so, yeah, really like this gold a lot. Like the other gold too, all great. But anyway, you make the decision. I'm going to go ahead and po post up the uh, cost and the return on investment and a little bit about my thoughts on it. And it's your decision, guys. Was it a great deal or was it just so-so? Hey, I still had a great time panning it out. 
think this gold is absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, Bob from Bob's Pistols and Pay Dirt saying adios. Happy trails. See you next time.